Hi guys, welcome to the Wild Tour of Stepping Out Stables. Our motto is be yourself, be unique, be your best. Just a quick note, I'm sorry for the bad lighting. It is a miserable day out there. So, um, this is our arena. <laughs> sorry, I had to think there. Um, this is Jade, our um, trainee instructor, as she has come to train to be an instructor, quite self-explanatory, while well, Lee's teaching her, and Lee decided to um, let her do a lesson on her own. So over here we have got Kathy and she is riding Pepper or see these spots. Also another note, I will probably not say half of the show names, even though I have got them here, but um I will probably forget. So that's them. They're just going over a simple jump here. There is a mirror and then um it's fenced all the way around with bigger panels towards the back. And then here there's one pole as it was going to be a um tack up area there but we decided against it and um haven't got the person out to saw it down yet so that's all there then we've got a water bucket and jumps and there's more gates there's a lunge line and then there's a bucket with some carrots and just general barn supplies and there's a little mountain block and a grooming kit coming down here um this is our office feed room tack room level even though it does also have our vets on it but um Sorry, my light will get in the way. Um, but let's start in the feed room. Outside the feed room, there is um, Julie and Laura talking about tack, well, mucking out all the day ahead. Um, and they are just picking their utensil to use for the day. And there's a little dog bowl and some baskets. Let's put it back up now, Warren. Um, in the feed room, there is our feed bags, and there's hay, straw well bedding sorry then there is a empty hay net and sorry zooming not meaning to I'm just resting on it um hay net buckets sorry then there's a feed bag and sugar cubes and there's carrots and apples then there's a little feed bag on top of the um pellets and then there's also oats sorry I'm holding this in my left hand um there's Becky just mixing up a feed and then some rolled oats so coming to the office when you come in now this is the only room which I can't see very well due to the lighting but I'll dry so coming down here there is our file and cabinet there's the security TV and books there is also plates as this doubles up as a lunch room and then there is just files and stuff on all the horses we currently have then there's sandwiches and then um, coffee well our kettle um, underneath the um, kettle there is a little thing of milk so it's just all compact and some apple juice and a laptop and there's a bookend a pencil pot and then some chocolate and sweets and stuff which the girls can just come in and get then there's a clock turned the other way as someone wanted to know the time earlier then there's two buckets here the orange one is full of cutlery and the top one is full of mugs then there's a newspaper and sofa someone's lunch a flower pot and two chairs and down there there are the cushions to whatever one you want to sit on then coming into the tack room um it's probably the most used room and everyone loves it at the minute as it just got newly refurbished so if you come in i do not own any copyright copyright for any of these pictures and i have not taken any of them so parts of the horse and then down there you might be able to see this fine with the light but i can't see the screen so sorry if you can't yeah You've totally out of my view, but anyway, there's a sink. Sorry, we can't really see it. Um, which is where you go to wash your hands, as we like being clean here. Um, anyway, why did I say that? Anyway, there's rags and then a miscellaneous um thing of tack. Basically, any things that we find around the barn or from previous riders, they get put in there so people can use or claim back. Um, picture of the bridle and saddle. There is a picture of our Dr. Stallion and Russ in his tack although I didn't take it um, then here there is our orange set pink set yellow black red blue and purple um, and when you come to the barn you get assigned a color so um that's according to that and then there's a ribbon and also these are the cubby holes and then in there there are like various different grooming kits of all the different colors so you get assigned a grooming kit and a tack stand Coming here, there, so I, didn't, I was like ready to move it but I didn't. There's our tap and buckets. There's the solution to cleaning our buckets with. And then 
that did not make any sense, but hopefully you got that. Then here's Tanya, our vet, looking at Rosa, who's due to give birth any day now, so just got her in here. Then she, she has water and feed, if I haven't already said that. And then there's the vet supplies at the back, which horses cannot get to, and um, a stool toy. Then here is our bin, and then a dustbin and brush. And this one is our show tack. And then I said that so enthusiastically, it's rubbish, but still. Um, and this one is horses and lead ropes. So, coming down to the next level. Oh, sorry, I did say that earlier, sorry. Our next level is our barn level. Um, sorry, I'll try and get my hands a bit more out of it. Um, here is our roof bit. So we have welcome baskets, a little mouse, feed, sacks, half of a newspaper, a feed bag, a crate with various different feed and halters in it. <laughs> Um, well, one halter, but still. Then, basket, um, a cat basket and a little trough. Then we have three saddles. Other half, we have feed bags and then um wheelie thing, two mineral blocks, jolly balls, um, well, no, stool toys, sorry, sorry, um, dog food and then another cat basket. So, here are the stools. So... Let's begin. Here is Harry. I will take the roof off in a minute, but here's Harry. And then opposite him is the tack-up stand. Currently no one's um, on this level um, tacking up a horse, but... <laughs> oh, well, anyway, let's get the roof off. So, yeah, this is Harry. He has feed... Sorry for the lighting. Hang on. Feed and water. And he also has a hay net in there. Sorry for weird angle. Um, right. Next to him is Pippa, um, Emma and Kathy. Sorry, Emma and Kathy. They have feed and water. But yep, those three are in there. Emma is actually due to be sold soon, so that's why we've just kept her in with her mum. Here we have our Icelandic stallion Mark stool. He is currently out in one of our pastures. Here is Mika, our Icelandic mare. Everyone loves her. Um, so she's due to have a foal soon, so everyone's very excited about that. And Mika's show name was Sing It Louder or Mika. So anyway, in the next door we have Russ, our Dartmoor Stallion. Um, he's just taking a drink. So, mm-hmm. Sorry, forgot to pause. Um, no, he's not. He's just left. I don't know why I'm saying that now. Next to him is Marie and Jane. Marie is actually privately owned. Um, I will only see it on these two, as I doubt I will remember on half of them. But yep, yeah, that's them two. Next we have Eb, our Falabella gelding, and it's obvious that you won't be able to reach the um, feed dish and water bowl, so after um, one of the stable hands has finished their chores, um, they'll come and put them on the floor for him, so that's him. Similar scenario for these two with the feed problem, but this is um, Flo, and that's Patch. This is Daniel, our Shetland gelding. And this is Beach and Poppy, our Shetland Marifal. <laughs> okay, this is Toby, our... Um, he's a cross between a Connemara and a Welsh. Sorry, just had to try and pause that to try and find the right, right wording for that. But yep, yeah, that's Toby. This is James, our Lipsana gelding. He's lovely. Moving on from him, we have Sarah, the Lipsana mare, and Brandon, the Lipsana foal. Sorry, you can't see, it, see him that well. There he is. This is Henry, our Hanoverian stallion. He is owned by Juliana, who's just come to see him. Then this is Juliet, the Hanoverian mare. She is also in foal. This is Vinny, our um, canal strapper foal. Um, as Peppers, his mum is out in the arena. He's just left in on his own, so that's him. This is David Stool, our Andalusian stallion, but he's out in the field, so um, Joe here is just mucking his stool out. So next to them is, well, next to him is Quinn and Emily, um, our Andalusian mare and foal. Then this handsome boy is Ricky, our Camarg stallion. Currently, Rosa is out of his, her stool, so just an empty one. Then here is Jasper, our Frasian stallion. Joe is just um, putting down new um, straw or bedding for 
um, our Fraser Mare and Fault while they are out in the paddock. Here we have Reuben or Rebel Prince, our Arabian Stallion. And then here is Zara and Tom, our Arabian Mare and Fault. Here we have Pedro, Pedro, our Lusitano Stallion. Then we have Dominic, our Black Mustang. Marley, our Pinto Stallion, is out in the field. And then this is Lee, our Pinto Mare. And here is Alex, our Aquatech Stallion. And then here is Charlie, our um, Aquatic Foal. His mare, his um, mum died when he was young, so he's been hand reared and. Um, but yeah, we're still trying to find a foster mother for him. Ross, our quarter horse stallion, is out in the field. Then this is Chandler, our Tennessee Walker stallion. Um, Swift's stool is currently unoccupied. This is Max, our Palomino stallion. Here we have Joanne and Jamie, our Hanoverian Marinfall. Here is Tim, our Clydesdale gelding. And um, Joel's just come to... Check out his hoofs. He also owns him. And then this is Toby, our Clydesdale foal, who hasn't had the easiest of lives. Poor thing. Here we have Joey, our Tinker Stallion. Then we have Hannah and Paddy, our Tinker Marin foal. And then here is Alex Stool, currently unoccupied. And next to him is Monica, our Black Forest Mare. Then opposite Monica, there is our um, Manure Heap. Sorry, that bit fell. Um, so basically it's where we put all the horses' waste. It's currently quite small at the minute. Um, you put the plank up either when a horse is coming out of its stool or when you're finished, um, so the horse doesn't trip over it. There's also a dog bone. Here is our line of turnout paddocks. Um, here is Izzy. Um, sorry, <laughs> I was seeing if that would help, but it's in total darkness. Um... Um, picking up an apple to feed Jade and Emerald are Frasian Marinfell. Then in the next one we have David, our Anclusion Stallion, and his Lee, our main instructor, trying to give him an apple. There's also a lead holder. Here is Marley, our Pinto Stallion, and he has the um, paddock escape kit, which consists of a halter, treats, and um, stool toy. We'll try to get them out of the pasture in case there's a fire or anything. Here is Ross, our quarter horse stallion. And finally we come to Mark, our little Icelandic stallion. Coming down here is our dilapidated barn. It is really ready for demolition. But um, here's Claire. And then this is where our Falabellas used to be housed. And we're still quizzing whether to put them back. Um, and then there were our two yearlings. Um, sadly our two yearlings at the minute aren't present with us. Um, they are off to be trained for a month at a prep school. Um, so, yep, we're just not sure whether to keep this or not. And then there's a little tie-up area with a feed dish. Um, and then our pugs, um, Pixie and Simon. Coming along here, we have our three re wheelie bins and then a little feed dish type thing. And then our two rabbits, Hilary and Domino. So that was the barn sort of stepping out stables. Please comment if you have any questions or queries. Um, yes, I know if I cannot reply to your comments, but I'll reply to them through PM. So I'm sorry about that. But so yep. So yeah, that's that. Sorry, stables look dark. Just do a scan of them. There is a horse in there. Mm, will the light be kind or? It's Dominic. <laughs> and in there is Charlie and Monica. Okay. Bye guys. Hope you enjoyed it.